All right, I'm going to give you this easy little video about um, the part you're, be, you're going to be working on with that drill press vise. It's that retainer screw. And um, basically, see the end of this hex head bolt here that we have? We're going to be using, we, this is what we're trying to draw and create. So if you notice it, Look at the center. It's got a circle. Then it's, it looks like it's got the fillet and the edges. So that's what we really want this thing to look like. Now, the problem with it is um, most people, then just let me show you what they do. Okay. Let me close this off here. So remember what this looks like. Okay. Um, let me just minimize it. Okay. This one here, if I just come here and just delete this fillet, and there's our hex head bolt. All right. Just our hex head. Now, most people think, oh, we'll just put a fillet on so let's do a fillet and let's do a 16. And with it, you notice we have to pick each piece individually. And when you do that, this is what you get. Um, to me, that really doesn't cut this kind of thing. Now, honestly, most people would not be picky about it, but this drives me crazy. What I would prefer it to look like is this. Um, you see how you've got the circle and you've got the edges and the roundness to it. So this is just something I've worked out over the years that I figured and it works pretty well for me. So let me show you how to get this set up instead of that. Okay. So the first thing, let's go ahead and start a new part. Um, we'll go to standard IPT and we have this and let's start our sketch. And I'm going to work from the top down. So I'm picking that top view. Now here's the thing. With it, we're not just going to do a hex head. We've got to do a couple of things, and it's kind of a little backwards, but it works for me. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to do my polygon. And remember, this one here is just like as far as AutoCAD. you got the inscribed and circumscribed. Circumscribed's outside. Inscribed is um, inside the actual the radius or the diameter of the circle. So we know what it is across the flat, so we need to do circumscribed for the part we're doing. Now, when we go here and we actually pick this and we're going to put our hexagon in here and we pull it out, once we pick it like this, let's go ahead and put a dimension on this thing so that we can actually have the right size hexagon. Okay, now with this hexagon here, um, the actual hexagon on that part was a 7 16 So I'm going to go 7 16 and remember, it's, it's in fraction because, yeah, it's a very old drawing that we're using, but it's a good drawing. So we have 7 16 is the actual across the flats. So there's our measurement right there. Well, that's all fine and well. But what we need to do first is a circle. And notice, I'm not constraining this. I'm not worried about it. I just need to know the distance here to here. I did pick my dead center, so I am good with that. I'm going to come in with a circle, and I'm going to take from the dead center, and I'm going to come to this edge right here. Okay. Now, if you notice, that's constrained. That's all fine and well. I'm going to go ahead just to find out what is this dimension. Okay. Now, this dimension says it's 0.505. Remember that number. Okay. 0.505 is what we actually need. Okay. So I'm going to click out of there and hit escape. And, you know, I could probably come in here and delete this and then delete all of this here and delete my hexagon completely. If I can do this today, it's been a long morning. Okay, so there's a circle I need. Okay, and let's go ahead and dimension this. Now, if it doesn't want to dimension and constrain, then, um, and actually check that out for the dimension. Um, there it is right there. So that's the actual size of the circle. We're going to finish this sketch. Okay. Um, once we finish this sketch, we're going to go and do the thickness of the actual, um, the head of the bolt. Now, I'll be honest, I don't remember what the thickness was offhand, but I'm just going to say, let's say it was a quarter of an inch. You guys have got the paper in front of you. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to actually extrude down. Um, and work my way down on this here. So let's bring it down this way. And I'm going to give it a quarter of an inch. Whoops. It'd be nice if I was in the box. 0.25. Okay. So I've got that set up like so. The next thing I'm going to do is a fillet. And I'm going to do a sixteenth of an inch. And 
there we go here. And remember, you can do decimal, you can do fractions, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to put that sixteenth of an inch right there. And I'm going to just tell it OK. Not too difficult, right? So we're all good right there. Now, let's come in here and do our next sketch. Our next sketch is going to be right on top of here, OK? And if you want to see what we're going to do here, we are going to take, and you know what? Let's take, and I'm going to just shift it so you can see a little bit what I'm trying to talk to you about. I'm going to go ahead and go project geometry, and I'm going to pick this and this. Do you see how it projected up on that top plane because it's filleted? So that's what I was looking at there. So let's go ahead and just look at it here. And now with this, I'm going to come in and do my polygon. Six sides. I'm going to come from here. I'm going to come all the way here. Now, it's kind of crazy with this when I do this, but um, let's just make sure it comes straight across. You can see my little dotted line there. So I've got there. Let's go ahead and add some constraints on this, okay? Let's take from this middle and have it come straight across here. You see it's, it's actually constrained. And this, if we threw that dimension on across the flats from here to here, you would see it's the um, 7 16 So we have that. It's that easy. Now go finish sketch. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to extrude. But when we get this, we're not going to add and we're not going to subtract. We are going to do the intersect. Now when you choose this, choose both this and that center part. And we're going to come down to 0.25. And when we do that and we tell it OK, oops, excuse me, that was crazy. We do it again. I picked the wrong one. Like I said, it's been a morning. It's the intersect. It's the bottom. Pick. Pick. Pick both of them. This here is your intersect. We're going down our 0.25 and then check out what it's going to look like. Then we got it. So that's basically how you can really get it to look a whole lot nicer than this. To me, that's just too blocky and square. If you're going to do something, do it right. So that's how simple it is. So follow those little steps and take a run with it. It's not that difficult to do. All right, so hopefully that's got you through things, okay? All right, let me finish this one up and get back to work.